So I'm just putting on a little bit of makeup because I want to film another video today if I can and maybe take some photos. I really need a spray tan. I put some tinted uh, moisturizer on my face, nude sticks. I'm just going to throw on a little bit of makeup. I think also it's important. Um, I live in Toronto and we're in lockdown right now and it's easy to just fall into a depression or fall into a cycle of laziness and not doing anything and I know you've heard it before but it's true like getting ready putting on clothes doing your makeup it does help you be more productive and take on the day more seriously so I'm just like super productive oh I hate when this happens I put like concealer here or like dry areas because I'm on Accutane and um, but Accutane makeup goes on so fucking shit because your skin's so dry the oatmeal wasn't as bad as I thought it would be I hate oatmeal seal cut oatmeal is definitely not as good as the original but with lots of maple syrup and the banana and um, cinnamon it was actually not bad but Part of me is just like one bowl. I'm not satisfied. I'm really full, but I'm not satisfied. So I'll have to have like, I don't know. I just like having like a mix of stuff. So <sighs> I'm like excited to be hungry again so I can have lunch. Okay, I'm gonna finish up my makeup and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, so obviously I don't know how to work my new camera and I promise next vlog, I am gonna use my vlogging camera. I made a mistake of using my big, New camera that does not have good autofocus at all so this entire clip is out of focus i'm so fucking sorry i'm an idiot but i fast forwarded it a little bit so i'm like not talking too long um but yeah sorry for all the clips in this especially the sit down ones like the talking ones where i'm out of focus it's so annoying just bear with me and i'm sorry i love you bye it's about two o'clock now i'm not gonna film another video today um timing wise it just didn't work out um, but yeah, Ben just got home. He's outside chilling. I'm starting to get really hungry. The energy from the oats has uh, left the building. And, uh, yeah, definitely hungry. Um, so I ordered from Fresh, a restaurant I always order from in Toronto that you guys have seen me tons of times. I think cheat meals and cheat days are a really unhealthy way to live. Um, food is not, food is definitely fuel. It's so important, of course, nutrients, but food is not only fuel. Food is supposed to be enjoyed and life is way too short and you're gonna go fucking crazy. And you can also very much hit your goals and thrive in your goals whilst eating the foods that you want to eat. So my life is all about balance. So I had a healthy, quote unquote healthy, it means something different to everyone. And I'm not going to use the words clean, like those are just such toxic words. But I had, I went through a time where I was scared of food and feeling guilty for putting anything but vegetables in my mouth. And it's just miserable. So every single day I have cheat foods or what YouTubers would call cheat foods. Uh, don't care because it makes me happy and um, as long as I'm eating, you know, as long as I'm getting my veggies and nutrients in and filling up on whole foods with the um, occasional, and by occasional I mean every day, <laughs> um, quote unquote more unhealthy meal, it's fine. The food, ew, the lighting. So for Ben, I got him, oh my God. 
Focus. Oh my god, this wrap looks. Oh my god. Mm. My mouth is just watered. I'm starving. <laughs> this camera is pissing me off a bit, I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't focus. Seeds. Plus, it has a bunch of random shiz. How stressing you. Do you have rice? Huh? Do you need poutine? Poutine for Benny. What for Ben? And a bit for me. Mm, my god. So, big ass avocado toast. It has avocado, vegan feta, the seeds plus stuff on top, arugula, cherry tomatoes. Oh, um, lemon olive oil, it's so good. And then here's my big salad. It has just like. Am I putting any in Yeah. Here's it. Just, it's a salad. It's not anything interesting, I promise. I need to muck now. I'm too hungry. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, so huh? salad. I'm talking. Ah! The avocado on my pants. Do you on the couch? No. Shit. Whatever. Finished my whole well, salad. Really lost right and then all my avocado toast is separate. A Should little bit. Really ben. A little bit of avocado and tomatoes that Ben will probably eat. Um, and then I'm gonna go have a bit of patine. Are you kidding me? Just for bite. Huh? Just for bite. Hold on, I wanna finish it, Annie. Yeah, no worries. No worries. Hi, how are you? Good, yourself? Good. Can I please get um, a grande matcha green tea latte? A grande matcha green tea latte? Sure. With soy milk and unsweetened, but I'll add two stevia. Sure. Thank you. So I got my latte. I'm gonna put on the screen how much protein is in the Starbucks cup. Just for fun, just for fun. So I've digested a little bit and I am gonna do a little ab circuit slash a bit of arms. Gonna do some push-ups, but I'll put on the screen what I end up doing. Hello, so I realized that um, I forgot to get nutritional yeast while I was out um, and that's okay because I also wanted to get, uh, we have a, a tub, a bathtub and, and I take baths every day but there's no stopper. So I think I'm gonna walk to Loblaws, get nutritional yeast and see if they have like a tub stopper. So, and it's good because I don't have many steps today at all and it's always good to like move post-workout. It wasn't like a sweaty workout, it was more just like a conditioning workout. Very quick, took like 15 minutes, um, or 20 minutes. Yeah, let's go on a walk. I'm home from my adventure outside. Sorry if I have rosy cheeks, it's quite windy, so I get a little bit of wind burn, and I'm really sensitive, like reactive skin. Um, okay, so I walked around Loblaws. Um, if you're not from Canada, it's a Canadian grocery store chain. I walked around for, I'm not kidding, maybe 30 minutes looking for fucking nutritional yeast and a bathtub plug. They didn't have either. Asked like three people, walked down every single aisle. It was annoying, whatever. So I went to, okay, but what I did get at Loblaws was fresh spinach. Just gonna use that. I prefer fresh to frozen, but I'll obviously eat the frozen later, but I'll eat this first. I got frozen peas. Um, this is so random. I got two mugs, because the only mugs we have so far, because I just moved in, they're like little dinky, I'll show you. 
like I'm not kidding. I'm done my tea in like 10 seconds. So I got like actual mugs. They're kind of like industrial. I want to get really cute handmade mugs, of course, from like Etsy and stuff, but I just needed something and these weren't terrible. And they're just like very clean looking. I got this stretch cover. So uh, we don't have much Tupperware here. And I think this is even better for the environment than Tupperware because it's just the top thing and you can stretch it over your pot, your pan, your bowl, whatever. And it just goes over the whatever it is, like your bowl, and it keeps the food fresh to put in the fridge for leftovers. So I've seen this before and I wanted to try it and I think it'll be good. I'll test it out tonight if I have leftover pasta. And then I went to the local market um, in like the village I live in and got minced garlic. Oh, I also got this like Thai to go pen because I spilled avocado on my pants. Chamomile tea. And then finally, nutritional yeast. If you are vegan, if you're not vegan, whatever, use nutritional yeast. It's so healthy, it has so much protein and vitamin B12, which is something that vegans don't get naturally through most of the food we eat. So this is killer. And every time I get my blood tests, they're perfect. So you can definitely be vegan and be healthy. I'm just gonna get the water boiling and I'm gonna make a sauce. I have tomato sauce, but I'm gonna add some garlic and, uh, Lentils, spinach, all that stuff on a separate pan, but I'm just gonna get the water boiling. You guys know how to boil water. Water, salt, heat. It's really, really hard. Heavy. Oh my God. Okay. High heat. Get that going. Okay, so onions and minced garlic is sauteing with olive oil. The water's boiling now. So I'm throwing this, ooh, this effing fucking camera, whatever. It's like rigatoni pasta. It's, oh my God, be careful. I promise I went out and got a can opener the next day, but we didn't have one and we ended up breaking a knife and we couldn't use the lentils. So we couldn't, it was friggin' annoying. But basically we just did peas or I did peas and spinach instead. And then I made a protein shake after for some extra protein. But yeah, add lentils to your tomato sauce if you can. It's amazing, affordable, good source of vegan protein and iron. Okay, it is time to take off my makeup and do my skincare, go to bed. Well, I'll have some chamomile tea, lots of water. It's important throughout the day to just like, unless I have one of those big bottles, that's two and a half liters. So usually I'll fill that up and drink all of it by the end of the day and then plus a bit. But on days where I don't use that, I just try to drink as much as I can, not like drowning myself, just kind of like constantly taking sips and stuff. So yeah, I'll have more water tonight, take all my vitamins, my medications, uh, chamomile tea, and then I'm just gonna do my skincare and go to bed. It's already like 9 p.m. <gasps> yeah, I'm really full and satisfied. And then, yeah, today was a really good example of what I eat, you know, a mix of those meals that make me happy and then meals that also make me happy but they're more like nutritious can't believe i'm done my first what i eat in a day in my new apartment um but i hope you guys enjoyed i had fun uh filming for you guys today i will see you very soon in an upcoming video have a good day or night or wherever you are and thank you as always for watching i love you and i will see you in my next one